record on this computer. All right. Ready? For uh, the um, IELTS question, like the drill, like the direct, to direct to one, two sentence or some. No, progress. you have to, uh, this time around, because you already know what to do, right? Uh, remember what we did last time, but today okay. you'll have to give me uh, a full answer for each of the okay. questions. Okay. I'm going to be using the app on my phone. Okay. Right. Let's begin with, um, okay, hold on. Let's begin with barbecue. Okay. BBQ, <laughs> barbecue. Do people in your country like barbecues? In the Czech Republic, I think most people like barbecue because it's a great opportunity to hang out with people in the summer and uh, have a barbecue and fun. What kind of food do you like to eat at barbecues? Because the barbecue is mostly about the meat. And uh, I am not vegetarian, so I can eat all meat, what uh, is well prepared, like uh, beef. Beef is actually my favorite. And the uh, second, for example, chicken with a uh, lot, lot of vegetables, uh, which together is great to, to eat on the barbecue style. Would you like to have a barbecue with your friends or family? Of, of course, uh, of course, uh, especially in the summer when it's the time and uh, every, everybody has, everybody has, uh, are, are free. And uh, because my parents has a big, have a big uh, garden, so there is always opportunity to, to uh, uh, meet the people and make barbecue. So I, that's, that's right. That's why I, I would like to have. Okay, good. Let's try another topic. So we're still in part one. Let's try sky and stars. Do you like to watch the sky? Hmm. <clears throat> Honestly, uh, I'm, I don't watch a lot, only sometimes because I live uh, in the city and the sky is polluted by the city lights. So the, on the sky, it's not really a lot of stars. So, and to watch empty sky is not really uh, interesting. So that's why I am not watch the sky a lot. That's why I do not watch the sky a lot. Good, thanks. Do not, all right, now. Can not, you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you see the moon and stars at night where you live? <clears throat> Sometimes when the sky is, when night sky is uh, clear without clouds or some fog. So there is opportunity to see the moon, but, um, but how I said before, the, because the, the light pollution from big city the ruin this opportunity to watch clear moon on the sky. Do you prefer the sky in the morning or the sky at night? Hmm. I can choose. For me, it really doesn't matter. I think uh, in the in morning or if it's not, if it's the night, usually if the sky is clear without, uh, without uh, storm or without the uh, clouds, it's better than uh, when it's when it's uh, rainy weather or when it's when it's dark, uh, dark uh, weather weather conditions. Is there a good place to look at the sky where you live? <clears throat> oh, 
Let me think. I think because I live on pretty flat area where without hills or without some mountains, so there are not much uh, opportunities to go on some on some top. But uh, maybe for, from the city on the on the on the high rise building uh, with uh, some uh, pop audio or with some uh, balcony or terrace. There, there, there are a few, so and so that's that. Therefore, is uh, in the in the downtown of city there there are there is opportunity to visit public buildings and to watch the sky from the higher, higher place. Okay, that's a very long answer. <laughs> okay, keep to your timing. What is the sky like at night in your hometown? <laughs> Okay, in my hometown, the skylight skylight uh, is uh, are are a little bit uh, stronger than in a city where I am uh, right now because the whole hometown is smaller, it's town. Then that's why the 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 light pollution isn't too heavy like in the city. So the sky are the sky can be seen better than in my in big city where I am when I live. If you can use just one word to describe the sky in your hometown, okay, at night or most of the time, yeah, what word would you use to describe it? <laughs> no. I don't know. Sky in the hometown? Mm -hmm. Or adjective. Know. Think of an adjective. Bright, bright or a lot. Bright? Did you say bright? bright. Only, yeah. Oh, okay. What can I yeah. Bright, bright sky. Or... I'm going to skip some of the questions here. Later, I'll send to you the links that uh, I am getting the questions from, okay, with the sample answers so you can review them, okay? Have you ever taken a course about stars? No, I don't. And, um, again, again, I'll read the question again. Have you have you ever? So you say no, I have not. I, yes, no, I, I have. All right, remember that verbs should be consistent. Okay, with your uh, the verb in the question should be consistent with the verb in your answer. You can use uh, other verbs later on, okay? All right, one more time. Have you ever taken a course about stars? Um, I have never taken okay. the, the course uh, because I'm not really interested in the skies. Interested, or, I'm not really interested. Interested in the, in the sky or stars or the galaxy. And this is the reason why. What's your favorite star? Mm, hard question, because I don't have any. Uh, so um, that's uh, I'm not very aware about the the, the names of mm -hmm. the names of stars. So so that therefore for me really doesn't matter. Okay. All right, that's fine. Okay, let's try another. Let's talk about flowers. I like that website. It's great topics. <laughs> uh, earlier, I was in readingiels.com. Now I am in ielspracticeonline.com. Okay. Do you like to have flowers in your home? Mm, um, honestly, I don't like because uh, I had in the past I had a few. However, they all all of them died. Uh, so I think the problem is because I can't can't uh, take care of them, and I'm not really really good uh, 
uh, person to with knowledge about flowers. Where would you go to buy flowers? <clears throat> if I need one, I will go to the to the uh, to the store with flowers. There are almost everywhere. So uh, in my town is uh, in the in the, in, the, in the square of town and I will choose what I would like to do. Okay. I want you to use more signpost words, okay? Like, however, but, because of that. Okay. I, I would try. I would. Yeah, <laughs> don't forget. All right. On what occasions would you give someone flowers? There are many opportunities. Uh, Firstly, for somebody's birthday. Secondly, for some events like the celebration of uh, the celebration like wedding or the funeral, for example. And, uh, and the last one can be in uh, some promotion like the work, work uh, promotion or the, or the uh, Educational, educational promotion at school. Okay. Last one about flowers. Are flowers important in your culture? I think so. I think people use flowers, um, like how I said before, especially for this kind of celebration. And uh, flowers make a lot of decoration traditional decoration when it's some big event or holiday. So I think uh, most of people uh, buying and using flowers every, every time. How, how important are flowers in your culture? Can you say they're not so important? Just right or very important? Uh, I said before they are important. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty well important due to the events and the celebration and holiday. Would you consider these to be very important or not so important? There's a reason why I'm asking you. Uh, I, I think so. Uh, they, they, used, they used to be, okay. Uh, they, they, they used to be important and they are still important in the in the present day. Okay. Uh, the, the reason I'm asking is uh, if it, it would help to improve your band score if you also describe the degree of importance. For instance, you can say not so important, very important, extremely important. By the way, I, I'm sorry, I don't recall. Are you taking general training or academic? Academic. Oh, academic. So you're also going to write um, writing task one, academic, wherein, oh, sorry, no, task two, agree, disagree. Okay, there's an essay there, agree, disagree. Wherein, uh, well, there are two types of agree, disagree questions. One simply asks, do you agree or disagree? The other asks you to what extent do you agree or disagree? When you see the word extent, it's asking for the degree. So it's similar here. How important are flowers? Although, of course, the question just doesn't or didn't ask for that. Um, but it would help if you volunteer that information. But your answer is just fine, okay? Don't worry. Oops. All right, don't worry. <laughs> if I make uh, comments or suggestions, it's no. not because your no. answers are wrong, all no. right? No. 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 <laughs> Okay, let's go to another topic, advertising or advertisement. Let's try IELTS podcast, one of my favorite websites. Okay, do you remember any adverts you saw when you were younger? <clears throat> Uh, yes, yes, uh, I, I remember, uh, I remember a lot of 
advertising um, when I was younger, especially in the in on the streets or in the inside shopping malls and uh, in the newspaper, for example. Anything else? I truly don't know. <laughs> <laughs> however, but however, however, these days are more devices like laptops, cell phones, or TVs. And so? And, but this not, I mean, nothing about the, what you ask, you know, so I don't want like make the, some, some information on the site, site uh, details, what, what the question is not about, you know, uh, so I don't know if I can speak about commercial <laughs> I'm just challenging I, you. I try, I try to <laughs> more direct, direct answer because if I start start to extend my question, I will ruin it and mess. That, <laughs> that's <like>. okay. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I'm just challenging you to extend your answer some more. All right. Next question: Do you often buy things after seeing an advert? Normally I don't because I'm not really trustful for this art advertisement. Uh, only, only in some occasional situation, if I need some really uh, need something, for example, my cell phone when I uh, was when I was searching for new one, I saw on on the commercial on one commercial on TV. And and decide and after that I decide buy the phone buy the phone so but normally most more normally I don't. Okay, good. Next, this is the last question about adverts for part one. Do you like it when celebrities advertise products? Mm. That. I, um, I believe it's great to, the way to way to adverse adver or to promote products. However, I think um, the, the, inf the, the influence, the influential, or the influential of these uh, famous people or stars, it's uh, it's uh, too much. So I, I, that's therefore I think the. The products, the concrete product should be should be sold by itself without okay. without big influence from uh, the famous people. All right. So we've covered four topics in part one. Let's move on to part two. Okay. okay. Do, do you have a, a a pencil and a scratch yeah. paper with you? Just yep, okay. Uh, I'll share my screen. Okay, do you see the question for the cue card for part two? Yep, yes, I see. Yep, okay. okay. So you have one minute to prepare and two minutes to talk about the topic.
All right, I'll start the timer when you begin to when you begin to speak. Okay, so uh, I like to describe one commercial what I saw on TV and catched my eyes a little bit. It was the it was the car product. Uh, it was a new. Tesla, Tesla car, what was promoted by Tesla company. It's full, uh, it's it full electronic, electronic car. So that was um, uh, made uh, by new technologies. And um, I saw on one day on TV when uh, many commercials and advertising are <clears throat> Uh, many times in just one hour, and uh, the, but uh, I remember this one because it took really more than just more than just a few minutes, and um, the, the 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 car was the the car was uh, promoted due to the green green. Um, Green, uh, green uh, work for the environment because it's uh, it, it's uh, really friendly to environment and uh, and uh, useful for future generation or for future or future future. For future in general, and um, I feel it was pretty interesting uh, the, to see everything on the on this on this promotion. However, however, I wasn't unsure due to many things. Like, firstly, the price was pretty high, and uh, and uh, and uh, and the lifespan of battery, for example, it's it wasn't. It wasn't to to ex extend, so so I think for some people it can be useful. But uh, in my, my my own my own example will not be. So I wasn't really <clears throat> really uh, astonishing by by this uh, at this this car. So I will not buy if there will be options exactly this one. And that's more than two minutes already. <laughs> Would you like to try again? I don't know. Okay. I, I, I <laughs> you, you want to? No. But no. I, I, I <laughs> but you have to. Okay. I know. Quick structure. Um, it is going to be easy if you have a structure in mind. Okay. Well, what structure do you sure. follow for part two? So. The, the big mistake was the, I chose wrong topic like the car test slide, just not real and that's why I struck, struggling with the, another sentence. So maybe I need to choose something. Yes, different. maybe try to simplify your answers. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, don't don't make it difficult for you to discuss. Okay, and um, I, I don't re I, I recall um, discussing this with you. Hold on. This is what I don't like about Zoom, <laughs> the panels. Um, where is that? Part two. Oh, remember PPF? PPF? Yeah, past, present, future. You can use that for part two. Uh, yes. It's, yeah. It will be and, great. Mm, hold on. If you go to our Google Drive, there are different uh, strategies here, different structures that you, you can actually combine them and find your own uh, structure. Okay. There's the IPDOF, there's the REDS method, there's the, yeah. Here's so here the PPF. I think I showed this be uh, I showed this to you before, right? I think I have. Have I, have I shown I this to you? 
Ups. Yes, I think I have this mater material. Is you, you sent me on mail, I guess. Uh, let's see. This is very easy, actually. Um, even though the question does not require you to talk about the future, you may do so as long as you've already mentioned. Um, yeah, the, the the answers to the bullets in the cue cards. Okay. Oh, is it okay if we discuss this? This uh, this is just a very short. Um, yeah, th this one is the cue card, and this is the the whole response. See, it's very short, but it's broken into three parts. P P F. The first P is past. Second P is uh, present future. Okay. Yeah, so this is the question. Would you like to read it or shall I do it? This I can describe okay. a memory trip you took. So. so you should say, so this is past, right? You took. So you should okay, say yeah. when, where, what, and explain why. All right, this trip was memorable to you. But take a look at the sample answer, okay? I, I'd like for you to read it, please. So it was, it was definitely far more exciting than any holiday I would be known before. I would only be in, to Europe, so, so Aisha was a completely different experience for me. I, you say I'd, I'd been, I'd um, been on. I'd, I'd. Yeah, um, th okay. this is considered to be one word, okay? I know, yeah. mm -hmm. But th that's actually, I had been on, all right. Was complete. Can, can you say this again? Experience. Oh, experience. Asia. Asia. Very good, okay, so that's past. Take a look at the underlined words. The, those are the verbs. Was, had been. What, what tense is was? What verb tense is that? So past. Yeah, simple past. How about had been? Um, past perfect. Past perfect, very good. So same here, past perfect, and then was. All right, let's go to present. Please read. Well, I've got some photos from the trip on my computer. Uh, they sum up, uh, they come up as uh, screen, screen savers after my computer hasn't been used for a while. So I took up to them and started dreaming about going back there. Okay, let's examine the verbs. Have got. What tense is that? Present perfect. Present perfect, correct. How about come up? Come up. It's actually a phrasal verb. Simple. 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 Present, simple. Present, correct. Has been or has not been. And, uh, past perfect. Uh, present perfect. Present perfect. Although it's in the negative because of the not there. Look. Simple. Present. Simple. simple. Present. And start dreaming. Oh. This is uh, present simple. No. Progress. Ends in I and G. What do you call that? Uh, pro progressive. Or progressive or continuous. Present, progressive. Okay, correct. So what have you observed here? Okay, let, let's go to future first. Please read. Okay, uh, actually, I am planning to take my girlfriend there next year, but uh, we are going to stay at a beach resort uh, this uh, time because I have heard there are some lonely places in the, the sea. I will probably just take days, day, day trips to cities and to temples. I can't wait. We'll probably. We'll probably. Right. Yes. Okay. Speculation. All right. Planning. I am planning. What tense is that? Simple progressive. Or... Correct. Progressive. 
However, mm -hmm. the meaning is, okay. How about uh, are going? Are going. <laughs> The same, the present progressive. Present progressive. How about will? We will, will take. Will take. Future, simple future. future. All right. What have you noticed about uh, how many types of verbs were used in the entire response? The Approximately. Four. One. Two, three, okay. four, five, six, seven, approximately seven or eight for the entire response. And that's a combination of tenses in the past, present, and future. Although the cue card, in the cue card, you're actually being asked to describe uh, a trip or, yeah, a trip you took, which is in the past. Okay, mm -hmm. so you can use this strategy if you want to. This is one way for you to extend your answer. And the good thing about this is that the, the strategy is very easy. You're simply telling a story based on your experience. And uh, this is, you know, when you remember an experience well, it's not difficult to, to talk about it, right? If it's, yeah, if it's real and if, if it's like... Yeah, if it's real. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's easier to, easy to say. Because you remember, but it's dangerous. Uh, it's dangerous if um, uh, you invent something or details, and yeah, you, you you don't know what to say. So you have to be really, really careful. Okay, when you invent information. Okay. All right, let's try again. Or same question, or would you like a different question for for part two? Uh, doesn't doesn't really matter. I think. Okay, let's try advertisement one more time. That's actually how, how you develop fluency, okay? You try the same, uh, you try answering the same uh, question again, all right? But try to use the same uh, answers. Where is that? Okay, I lost it. I lost it. Oh, here. Okay. Okay. Describe an advert you saw recently. You should say what the product, service, or service was. Okay, past tense, where you saw it, how was the product advertised, and how you felt about it. Okay. Do you see my okay. timer? I don't, I don't see. You don't see it? Okay, hold on. Oh. But I don't, I don't, I don't need or I, I don't know. I'll share my entire screen. Okay. Do you see my timer? Now, yes. Good. You do? All right. So more or less you can, but on the actual test, you don't see the timer, okay? Good. So uh, uh, can I start with, without preparation or? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so, uh, okay, so I like to describe the advert, what, what I saw on TV. Uh, on. When I sorry, did... sorry, hold on, please. Timer is not working, hold on. Why? Okay. So Let's do this okay. one more time, one more time, please. So I'd like to tell you, told you, told you about the ad advert what I saw on TV when I was um, searching for a new phone. I think one year ago, and uh, the product is uh, the product was a mobile phone, uh, Samsung. What the company presented on uh, in the commercial on TV. And uh, in this time, I need, need, need one. Uh, I need one, so that's why I was uh, influenced by these, these uh, adverts a lot. So, and um, the, the, the 
phone was uh, with uh, many new features like uh, new cameras with many pixels and huge huge um, huge low load gigabyte gigabytes uh, store and uh, that's that was pretty awesome for the price what they offered and uh, I, 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 after after ordering from the due to the advertising i i just wait i just waited a few few days and uh, then get the phone uh, and i was really really happy to to open the package and see my new phone but i couldn't believe how how, how was how was great to to see like everything is fitting and works worked really well because I I was always a denial in the advertisement but maybe I will change my mind to the future and next time the, okay the time is up so when your examiner says time is up or your time is over just finish the uh, the sentence that you're saying all right okay. I'll send you this link later. So there, there's a, yeah, sample answers here. Let's try to answer some part three questions about advertising. Do you think advertising will change in the future? Mm, it's, uh, it's a difficult question. I think uh, not in the near future, maybe in the in the far away future because uh, there is not much to change about the process of advertisements i think therefore it's uh, will will not be any any big changes add details like um yeah examples details information okay take a look at the sample answer here mentions youtube facebook all right, now to support your answer, okay, try to mention something. Okay, um, yeah. Uh, can, can you answer this one more time, please? Same question. Like, what, what, what made you say that? What, why is your answer like that? What examples can you think of to support your answer? Yeah, one more time, please. Okay, so in the, in the near future, I don't, I, I think there will not be any big changes for advertising, but maybe in the far away future, decades, decades ahead, uh, the companies like Facebook or uh, the YouTube okay. will create a new platform or a new, new system of ad advertisements to, sh to improve the, the old one so oh. i believe okay i don't know okay that's it okay all right remember if the question begins with do you think it's asking for your opinion okay so you can mention uh phrases like i believe i think okay it's my opinion okay. that all right okay next question how is advertising different now in relation to the past? So you need to use a uh, language for compare and contrast, okay? Past and present. Try this. Okay, I think uh, in the past, the advertisements was always, uh, or um, was mostly on the newspapers or in the, or in the uh, billboard uh, on the, in, in the streets or in the, in the malls, cities, but uh, to, to compare with to these days, uh, there are still many outside outward advertisements. However, um, however, due to the uh, devices and uh, in the internet most most advertising 
lands are are jumping for, for jumping to us from our screens and mobile laptop devices. Okay, good. Some people think it is unethical to advertise to children. Do you agree? <clears throat> That question, I've, well, I have never thought about, but uh, I think to some extent that it is unethical for especially the, the youngest children, what uh, really maybe I don't understand what is it, what the advertisements system is about. So they they should that that that's therefore the they should be um, they should be uh, reject or they should be removed from uh, from uh, the opportunities to see any advertisements. For example. For example, uh, for example. Um, for example, when a child uh, open laptop or some electronic device, or maybe just turn on TV, the many advertisements from many ad advertisements, the what the device product products or show, it can be can be distract can be take like distractors for the child and uh, can make the child to be confused. All right. Okay, good. Do you think you can do one more for cue card for, for part two? Oh, okay. Uh, you, okay. Yeah. Oh, good. I like it. <laughs> this favorite, is what, this is what you signed up for, right? <laughs> drills, right. lots of drills. Okay, hold on. Let, let me look for uh, more topics. Hold on. What is next on our list? Special costumes. Let's see. You're all in part one, clothes, or maybe clothes. Well, let's try to cover special costume, part one. So many websites nowadays. During my time when I was, uh, starting to learn IELTS, there, there was barely any material that we can use. <laughs> we had to buy them and they cost a lot. That's, that's yeah. Okay. This is for part one. Okay, Let, let's try them. Anyway, we're gonna cover this again next time. And then for part two, we're gonna go to clothes, okay? Let's try this. Uh, special costumes. Do you like to wear special costumes? Um, I don't because I, I usually wear only the common clothes and uh, really don't have in my clothes, in my closet any special costumes. Did you try any spell costumes when you were young? Uh, 
Oh, oh, yes, yes, I remember, uh, especially when I was in uh, kindergarten, I think, we, we did a lot of, a lot of events with uh, costumes, uh, with, uh, among other kids, and uh, I remember one time I was like, a, like, a, uh, I think, culinary guy. Maybe. And uh, my mother prepared me these special, specific costumes. So, yes. Okay. When was the last time you wore special costumes? <laughs> oh, it was it was when I when I with, when I was with my band on on the on the on the, on the concert and we were we were uh, we were make the atmos made make made. our style we made made, made our, our our style with the uh, special dark and uh, and um, medieval costumes Okay. Did you ever buy special costumes? <clears throat> uh, I remember one time when I ordered one for my when when I need to. It was for the for the for my for my performance with band. But uh, unfortunately, the costume didn't fit me well, so I have to return and uh, after that I had to return it return it and after that my mother helped me to to with with one or to make one to make to one meet one make to make make uh -huh. no yes, to make one for my for my sides and uh, to my for your size for my size yeah. your size why what size are you normal i don't know uh, just what large what are you large extra large <laughs> yeah you can describe it you can describe it actually that's good if, if you try to describe how how why uh the, the previous costume didn't fit you yeah what's wrong with it in particular, right. mm -hmm. yeah. So next time, next time I would try. Okay, I'll try to add more details. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's try clothes. So, um, I googled for. But I think if this is uh, like the first part questions, they should be like really direct and short without many details. No? Mm, it depends. It depends. Um, in my experience before, it, it depends because there are many speech functions. All right. Um, th there is no one way to answer one question. What's important is that you keep in mind the purpose of the test. Why is there an IELTS test? What is its purpose? The purpose of the IELTS test is for you to demonstrate to your examiner that you are able to use or to, to demonstrate different speech functions. And what are the speech functions? When, when I say speech functions, what comes to your mind? Your ability to what? Function of speech. Give me one. Ability to? To, uh, to, to ex express uh, the, or answer the question. And express, the, express the reason and some experience with experience and examples. Explain the reason. So that's ex explanation, right? Your ability to explain. Okay, here. Speech functions. 
Yeah, but uh, yes, I, under, yeah. I understand. Okay. So it really yeah. depends. It really depends. Okay, uh, good. So that's that's. I think like for my perspective, it's better if I if I can speak about something. Is I would really love to speak. But if it's some topic, what just uh, like costumes or the 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 flowers. <laughs> So there is okay. not much. So that's why I, I, I have a little big bag to don't. So, so just a reminder, <laughs> okay? Do not limit yourself to only a few speech functions. Try to them. But you know what? You're you're already at band six, okay? You are already there yeah. because band six. Uh, in spite of your errors, you should. What was important at band six is that you're able to answer the questions correctly. Okay, uh, you're able to, ex but, but there should be a willingness to extend, uh, extend uh, your, your responses, but you have a tendency to stop. But examiners, though, they, they throw uh, follow-up questions. They help you to, to answer some more, all right? So don't hesitate when your examiner asks you more questions, okay? Just a reminder, though, but you're already there. Don't worry. Okay, let's try. Load. In part, um, maybe in relation to, okay, let's try fashion and shopping. There's a cue card for this. All right. You see my screen, right? Not yet. Oh, sorry. Okay, I thought I was sharing my screen. Okay, here? Yeah, I think so, yes. Yeah, you see it? All right. So this is the cue card. I think I am I'm ready. Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> I'd like to tell you about uh, shopping mall, what is one of my favorite. It is uh, close to my hometown where I live. Uh, it's approximately 10 minutes by bus, five minutes by car. Therefore, it's really, really, really close to visit and uh, this is a huge shopping mall with uh, many things to buy uh, uh, like uh, clothes for example for for example furniture or the, or the, some electronic devices uh, uh, just uh, in general i think everything and uh, this is one from the reason why i visit this shop Every time when I need something, most, um, but uh, in general, I can say one time in in week, I am in I am in, but um, because um, I need buy my gro gross, 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 grocery gross, groceries and um, and uh, check my, for example, bank account or some some. And other services, what the what the shopping mall uh, of, offer offers, and uh, that's I really like the the, the place, but, and uh, these reasons again, it's uh, everything is on one place, without without traveling, and everything is connected, so you are you are under under the under the roof, so it's pretty 
as in the winter when you don't need to, to be to be to let the cold to influence influence you and uh, and uh, that's that's this big, uh, convenient uh, part of my town all right your time is up let me ask you some uh, part three questions Some people think women shop more than men. Do you think this is true? Definitely, I can agree. And the four reason is, firstly, uh, the woman like- Women. Things. Women. Women like the things like holes or some uh, just jewelry or other things more than men. And uh, secondly, I think for them it's like a habit uh, and uh, they really enjoy it and, and feel after buying something happier than they felt before. Okay, let's go to uh, another question. How is shopping different now compared to how it was in the present? I think... Uh, in the past, there was uh, there was um, the smaller amount of uh, things in general, like uh, like uh, you know, devices or some uh, some furniture, clothes. So there wasn't a big a big uh, variety or sort of these things. And sometimes people have had to wait uh, many, many, many days for some for something new, but so for some new products from companies. And but uh, uh, but in nowadays, nowadays, if it's everything is on the already on the shelves, you don't need to wait for something. You just you just buy it or or ordered or order through the through the store. They are more happy uh, to send the the the, the pro needed product to your to your home. So and uh, the last one is the price. I think these days is much cheaper than was in the in the in the past for the same for the same reason. Okay, good. How do you think shopping will change in the future? <clears throat> and. Uh, in the future, it it will be maybe more. It may be more uh, more stuff than is already in in the nowadays. Prob probably uh, there, there the 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 shopping time will be sh shorter than is in nowadays, and. Uh, Due to the due to the uh, online shopping, mm -hmm. the shops and uh, shopping malls will more focus on uh, day product in the warehouses, not exactly inside the place. Do you do online shopping yourself, Tom? Do you shop so, online yourself? Yes. You do? Yes. Where, where, which websites do you go to for, for online shopping or, or apps? I don't, honestly, actually not much, just sometimes, but, uh, but uh, yes, I, some, I, I do. Uh, so it depends about, this depends about the product, what I need. So it depends on the products. Products, yeah. Yeah. I do online shopping too, but I find that there are some advantages and disadvantages to online mm -hmm. shopping. How about you? Uh, in your experience, what are some advantages and disadvantages of online shopping? So the, the pros, I think, are the price is always cheaper. Oh, well, many times. Online? Online? Online, yes. Because it's, uh, yes, it's, it's not not too complicated for the for the complicated complicated to you know 
So and and uh, it's and this, the why are really, why are really of the products it's always bigger than inside the shop. So and yes, you can choose more from more sorts of products online. Online, of course. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with you. But what are some disadvantages of online shopping? Yes, based on your experience. Some... But especially for my experience, I, I actually don't have any, but um, sometimes you need to wait a little bit more than they told you before. Like Waiting because, time can be longer yeah, than expected, yeah. yeah. What else? And How about uh, in terms of quality of products or of the product? Yeah, so this is, you don't, you can't, Touch the product before, or check the products by your by your own hand before it's already in your own hand. Uh, so at, at home, so and I'm always the, the the main. Maybe you pay usually the before before the ordering or immediately after ordering without still the products. So so that's why I think it's useful. You have to buy from the. The, the, the approved online centers or online platforms where it's not like the danger of the, the, the threat or of of, uh, <clears throat> of uh, some um, weak quality product or different maybe you know Tom you you talk more when I ask you uh, questions like this for conversation. <laughs> you are more talkative. You do that when you answer questions in IELTS, all right? I listed oh. on, <laughs> I listed on yeah. some of your, uh, I wasn't able to catch everything. That's the reason why I like to record uh, speaking um, uh, drills. For yeah, instance, sure. are you in a hurry, by the way? No? I'm not. I'm no, not. okay. Mm, so don't forget make present made uh we, we were talking about costumes earlier so say made my mom made me the costume or created all right one of my favorite or one of my favorites which one is correct one of my favorite it should have an s at the end oh. one of my favorites Okay, yeah. unless there's a noun after favorite. One of my favorite things, okay? okay. Which is better, one time a week or once a week? Once a week. Once a week is better. It sounds more natural. Okay, remember women, not woman. Women. <laughs> women, all right? Women. Do you say furnitures or furniture? Furniture. Right. Okay. Now, many, many, many days. <laughs> How can you improve that? Many, many days. Many days. Right. So avoid duplicating words. Okay. When you speak. Okay. Uh huh. Now, in terms of the, uh, in terms of the. Um, what else because i'm thinking of the uh, individual criteria so remember to improve your fluency okay try as much as possible uh, to minimize your stuttering and the pauses in between try to be as spontaneous as you can and it helps to well just keep improving keep improving in general yeah. all right yeah. okay. I, will, I, will. I, I promise yeah i will all right Good. one more before i let you go okay um these are links that I compiled. They, they are my, uh, for well, initially for my reference, but uh, later on, uh, I find the need to share them to my students. Links for, to, to help you improve your vocabulary. All right, um, let me show you what I have here. So I have shared this to some of my students already. Um, Sometimes it's difficult for students, for my students, to express what they want to say. Okay, for instance, the common ones like beautiful, 
how do I express beautiful, for instance, or positive and negative adjectives, okay, in particular to describe, okay. Now here, here are common uh, adjectives that we always use in IELTS, IELTS speaking, bad, very bad, good, very good, hot, very hot, cold, very cold. So all you need to do is go to these uh, links. Um, now my question is, would you like? Yeah, and recommended for higher band scores for vocabulary in IELTS. Nice. Do you like this? Because I'll send it to you right now if you want it. Yeah, yeah, you can. <laughs> Yeah, follow my mail. Yeah. Oh, why is this? So some of the links may not be working anymore. Let's see. I was looking at something here earlier. IELTS practice online. Yeah, some are not working anymore. But anyway, hope you find something useful here. So I'll share this to you. Where in Preply or? Yeah, whatever, doesn't matter. You can prep me, prep me or mail on. Where's the chat? Chat. Okay. Let me know when you get the link. There. Okay. You see the link? So don't forget to copy that. Copy and save. Yes, yes, good. Okay. Got it. Uh huh. So that's it okay, for today. Thank you, <laughs> thank you so much, Tom. I'll listen to okay. the recording again. And uh, would you like a copy of your recording? Because this is a free account, um, a free Zoom account. I will have to upload it on YouTube if you want a copy. Mm -hmm.